Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're meeting the Chinese Red Dog. <laughs> Today we have an Animal Watch exclusive with one of the rarest, largest and unbelievably beautiful new guarding breeds to arrive in the Western world from China. One which has appeared in online images and footage but has remained mystical and unobtainable to the UK and other Western countries. Extremely large, tall and powerful, with a look like a Rottweiler and a Doberman were mixed to produce offspring. Could this dog be our next king of the guarding breeds? And could he knock the Doberman off his pedestal? Meet the Chinese Red Dog, otherwise known as the Lai Hao Hong. Strong, powerful and extremely guarded, this dog will lay his life down for his family. With a muscular frame and rippling red shiny coat, he is breathtakingly beautiful. His amber eyes pierce through your soul. He is tall, lean and extremely healthy looking, with some males reaching a staggering 32 inches. With a glint of an inky tongue, the one sign to show us where his roots are from, the Far East. But this dog also looks like a Western guarding breed. He could almost be mistaken for a Red Doberman or a leaner, skinnier Rottweiler. So what exactly is he and who developed him? Well, we are here today to reveal all in an Animal Watch first exclusive. The Lai Hao Hong, otherwise known to us as the Chinese Red Dog, has its origins in Shandong province in China. In the 19th century, that province was colonized by German soldiers while on lease from the Qing dynasty. They arrived with their working dogs and after years of breeding their Great Danes, Rottweilers and German Shepherd Dogs with local dogs, including the Shandong Zion Hound, the Lai Hao Hong was established as its own breed. The red markings, which means Hong in Chinese, are a distinguishing hallmark of the breed, which has even been suggested to have possibly come from the Korean Mastiff. This breed is very rare outside of China and Animal Watch has been extremely keen to find someone who has imported these dogs. So we were in luck when we found some red dog enthusiasts, Lucy and Dean Dennis of Ragga Kennels in the Nottingham area, who have recently taken on several breathtakingly beautiful red dogs and are training them as well as keen to introduce and breed healthy genetically tested dogs in order to have them recognized by the kennel clubs of the world. Oh, hi! Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Annika. Nice hi, Annika. To see you. I'm Lucy. Yes. So this is Mercy. Mercy. She's hello. a Chinese red dog. Hey, baby girl, you're so She's a year old. Ooh. What eyes you've got! What eyes! What, <laughs> you? what eyes you've got! <laughs> so she's wow. our youngest bitch, a year old. <laughs> She's, She's so athletic looking and beautiful. I mean, they look really, really healthy, don't they? Yeah, she is. She's a picture of health. She's really strong, healthy young dog. Would you like to come and meet the rest of the yes. Chinese red dog, Sanika? I would Sanica? love to. I'm very excited about it. Let's go. Come okay, on. Mercy, let's go. Come on, then. <laughs> 
We had earlier been sent some impressive footage from Mel Russell, who was keen to have this breed established in the UK with good genetically tested breeding. It was clear that these dogs were really keen to guard and work like a German Shepherd or Doberman. Dean and Lucy showed us some footage they had filmed on their phone of some rag training they had started with their young 10-month-old boy Chong and professional dog trainer Dan Powell, but wanted to stress on camera that he was very early on in his training and inexperienced dog owners should absolutely not do this alone in their garden without professional assistance, as the out command was extremely important and a lot of backstreet amateurs are keen to do this alone, unsupervised and can end up creating dangerous dogs. Dean and Lucy were also keen to show how obedient and easy to train this breed was, so we watched three of their dogs in action outside. After all the action, we finally sat down and had a chat about this new and exciting breed. Well, today we are meeting the Chinese red dog. These are incredibly rare dogs. You will be so lucky if you get to see one walking down the streets of the UK. And oh my goodness, here we've got Mercy and she's going to sleep. She has been walking around. She's been jumping all over the chairs and everything. So let's talk a little bit about the history of this incredible dog. So around 1900 in the Shandong province in China, German colonizers had a need for a dog that would farm, guard, <laughs> and work. They put their own working dogs, the German Shepherd, the Great Dane, and the Rottweiler, and they mixed that with a local Shandog sighthound, which created the Chinese Red Dog. Well, of course, we filmed with all of these breeds, except for the last one that you mentioned. Great Danes can be incredibly stubborn. Mm -hmm. Do you get a little stubborn streak come through, perhaps? It, yeah, a, t a little bit, with Mercy. Like, e each dog's individual yeah. uh, personality. But with Mercy, yeah, th yeah, there's the tiny little, I like to call it an independent streak. A little rather independent than... <laughs> streak. But then also, as we know, the German Shepherd and the Rottweiler are incredibly responsive, incredibly trainable breeds. But they also need a firm hand. When somebody comes to your house, what is the sort of reception they'll get? Instantly the dogs will bark, make whoever is at the door aware that they're on the other side of the door. Built-in defence or automatically defensive. Yeah. And if you open the door under your um, instruction, would you feel safe to allow that person to come in straight away? With any big dog, especially a guarding dog, it's always best to have the owner with you and just take your time to get to know the dog like today you've got to know mercy yes. before you sat down yeah i certainly wouldn't advise anybody to open my door no and walk no no, no, in the house. no i feel these dogs are um quite similar to if you were to have a german shepherd or a doberman they are guarded but once you are in and you're sitting down with them and you're settled they're actually very very nice dogs the thing that i find the most amazing is I think they look exceptionally healthy, even though they've got the Great Dane in there. And as we know, yeah. the Great Dane hasn't got the greatest reputation for health. I don't get the feeling that there's anything wrong with them. If anything, I would say they look like one of the fittest, most beautiful muscular dogs I've actually ever seen. Yeah, absolutely. And the color is beautiful. I mean, what an unusual color we have here. So when you when you see um, the Rottweilers and the, the Doberman, they have a much lighter sort of mask. Yep. This is like a sort of a real red coloration. Yep. Is this the only color that these dogs come in? So they'll always have the red markings above the eye and on the arms and on the muzzle. It can be darker like a chestnut red, um, like this, almost like a horse <laughs> color but Mercy's on the more darker side. Mercy's a darker red colour with a thicker, coarser coat and the yellow eyes. And yeah. they can come with a soft coat and they can come much lighter, but they must be blackened 
Yeah. The red. And she's got beautiful, almost yellow eyes, yeah, hasn't that's she? Right, Do yeah. all of your dogs have those bright eyes? No, so Mercy has the yellow eyes. Zen's got almost amber mm. coloured eyes, and Chong is, is like brown, amber yeah, eyes. But hers are beautiful. Yeah. So, what do these sight hounds look like that they put into this breed? Think of like a lurcher, lean, long, fast. When you go out and you go to a park, do you feel if there are other dogs and people around that these dogs are the sort that you could let off or they'd be much better to keep them on a lead? You've got to have done your training from early on. The dogs need to be socialised but not over socialised so they're not running up and wanting to meet and greet every dog that comes along. They focus on my husband while they're mm. out. They don't really want to interact much with other dogs. You have some very tiny dogs in this house, don't you? Yeah, they get along with the other dogs in the house and stuff. They're yeah. respectful to the older, smaller, senior yes. dogs. Everything within the family unit, um, they accept and they love yeah. and they look after. Absolutely And probably naturally dogs. wary and naturally cautious to other people that are outside of your unit. COVID has actually been quite damaging this year to a lot of people with dogs, especially yeah. if you're trying to bring up very young adolescent dogs that need to be socialized. And when you have dogs that are naturally cautious, this mm -hmm. can put them back a little bit, can't it? Yeah, that's right. It's just having the visitors in the house and teaching the dog how you want them to act when people are coming in the house. There just hasn't been yeah. as many opportunities this year because yeah. of the restrictions. She is a very, very lovely dog and your other dogs are very, very lovely. It all comes down to you as an owner and how you train them and look after them and, yeah. and bring them up. Are they recognised by the Kennel Club yet at all? No, and it's just going through the FCI now, which is the Chinese version of the Kennel okay, Club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This dog has got a very exciting future. Mm. Um, it's a very, very good looking dog. It looks healthy and I've got to say, I think they're very, very lovely. I had been very keen to find these dogs, as visually they are extremely beautiful and impressive. In real life, they were really healthy looking, despite the Great Dane ancestry. A clear sign that the German Shepherd and Rottweiler blood had really helped out here. When I met them and had spent time with them, I felt that they had real trainability and a huge future as a competitive protection and guard breed for families. They are hyper-intelligent, but also very loving and soulful. There was a natural guarding instinct there, but one that is easy to turn off, like a German Shepherd with good solid training. The slight stubborn streak needs to be addressed early on, something that the Great Dane possesses. But with early consistent training, these dogs are definitely going to be giving the well-known breeds such as the Doberman, Rottweiler and the German Shepherd a run for their money. So beware, here comes the Chinese Red Dog. He's beautiful, he's strong and he's going to be popular. Please remember though that dogs like the Chinese Red Dog easily end up abandoned when overly eager owners take on more than they can handle. Think twice before committing to a giant breed like this. Remember that his life is in your hands. You will need to sign up to a local or online dog training school, as well as make plenty of time for socialization and attention. The last thing here at Animal Watch we want is to see this beautiful new breed abandoned in their thousands, just like the Malinois has been after John Wick 3. We can advise you to some great online classes, just ask. It's been a pleasure actually meeting you today and your dogs. And um, if people would like to find out more, um, you've got a few websites, haven't you? Yeah, so the dogs have an Instagram page just for fun, following them, their exercise and stuff. And um, we have a website and um, if anybody wants to know any more, you're welcome to message me, yeah. email me. What we'll do is we'll write the websites here at the front of the page here and you can click through and you can look at some videos and pictures if you want to find out more about this amazing Chinese <laughs> red dog. I'm so excited for meeting it because it, it's like um, one of the rarest dogs I have ever met. And if you enjoyed this episode, then please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner. And be sure to tune in every week where you'll be finding out more about dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now.